Hello everyone and welcome to the Discovery Zone. Today, Michio Kaku will talk about how we actually live inside a black hole. Many people are aware of black holes as frightening entities in deep space that devour objects never to be seen again. However, what if we told you that we actually reside inside a black hole? Join us on a journey as we follow one of the most prominent scientists of our time, Michio Kaku. Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way galaxy with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. There should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy that are only half a billion years old. Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. What unveils the shocking truth that our existence unfolds within a supermassive black hole. In this discussion, we will explore the new images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, which challenge the widely accepted Big Bang Theory. It's not uncommon for long-held beliefs to shatter when confronted with evidence that contradicts them. The Big Bang Theory, as an explanation of our origins, might not be exempt from this phenomenon anymore. With the advent of the James Webb Space Telescope, Astronomers have made observations that force them to reconsider their understanding of the universe's beginnings. Celebrated theoretical physicist Michio Kaku did not mince words when describing the latest shocking discoveries made by the JWST. The telescope is disrupting established notions, leading us to question and potentially rewrite the textbooks about the universe's origins. So. What is this groundbreaking discovery that has scientists re-evaluating the origin of the universe? Michio Kaku explains that the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that existed only half a billion years after the Big Bang. These galaxies, up to 10 times larger than our Milky Way, pose a problem for astronomers trying to understand the universe's creation. According to current models of galaxy formation, Primordial galaxies larger than the Milky Way should not exist at this early stage. Something is amiss, and our theory of the universe's creation may require revision. These extraordinary galaxies contain tens to hundreds of billions of stars and emerged when the universe was only 500 to 700 million years old. This contradicts the gradual clumping of matter predicted by current models of galaxy formation. The puzzle of how these galaxies grew so large so quickly challenges our understanding of physics and the mechanisms behind galaxy formation. It suggests the need for new physics or alternative techniques to explain the rapid emergence of these massive galaxies. A team of astronomers, led by Evo Lobby of Swinburne University of Technology in Melbourne, Australia, made this remarkable discovery using the first photos captured by the JWST. These images covered an area 100 times smaller than the full moon and were taken with the near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, one of the four primary instruments on board the telescope. NIRCAM can detect infrared wavelengths, allowing it to observe objects that are too weak or too far away for other telescopes to see. By analyzing these photos, the researchers found approximately a dozen objects that appeared exceptionally bright and red. Using a technique called photometric redshift estimate, they calculated the distances to these objects based on how much their light had been stretched by the expansion of the universe. Six of these objects exhibited extremely high redshifts, indicating that their light is over 700 million years old. This makes them some of the most ancient objects ever observed. Further analysis revealed that the stellar masses of these galaxies range from 10 to 100 billion times the mass of our Sun, comparable to greater than the mass of our entire galaxy, the Milky Way. These findings raise several questions. First, how did these galaxies form so quickly and efficiently, transforming the majority of their available gas into stars in a relatively short period? This defies the conventional view of galaxy formation. 
which suggests that galaxies start small and gradually grow by merging with other galaxies or accumulating gas from their surroundings. Second, the cosmological theories based on the study of the cosmic microwave background, CMB, the relic radiation from the Big Bang, indicate that these galaxies contain more mass than what was available in their regions of space at the time. Third, the presence of a large number of old and red stars in these galaxies suggests that they have gone through multiple generations of star formation and chemical enrichment. This raises questions about how stars arise and evolve in such young and pristine environments. To reconcile these disparities, scientists have proposed various possibilities. One possibility is that the measurements or assumptions underlying the observations are incorrect. It's conceivable that these objects may not be galaxies at all, but rather quasars or other types of active galactic nuclei, AGN, fueled by supermassive black holes. However, the distinct spectral signatures that AGNs typically exhibit are absent in these objects, making this scenario less likely. Furthermore, the formation of supermassive black holes requires time, making them rare at such high redshifts. Another possibility is that there may be flaws in the models or theories used to interpret the observations. It's possible that these galaxies evolved through mechanisms not yet understood, such as direct collapse or extreme instability, which could result in the rapid formation of enormous galaxies without relying on mergers or accretion. Alternatively, these galaxies could be outliers or anomalies that developed under unique conditions or in rare regions of space. They may not represent the general population of galaxies at that time. To validate their presence and determine their frequency, more observations with larger samples are necessary. However, it is also plausible that something fundamental is amiss with our understanding of cosmology or physics. These galaxies could be providing evidence for novel events or interactions that current models don't account for, such as dark matter annihilation or primordial density fluctuations. Additionally, they could indicate the existence of new dimensions or additional forces beyond our current understanding of physics, such as string theory or modified gravity. These factors may affect the volume and distribution of matter in the early universe, leading to more mass and faster expansion in some regions than others. While these theoretical possibilities are intriguing, they require further inquiry, testing, and data to confirm or refute them. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its advanced instruments and capabilities, is expected to provide more information about these enigmatic galaxies and their implications for cosmology and physics. Its spectroscopic and imaging capabilities across multiple wavelengths will allow for more extensive studies of their features and surroundings, potentially unraveling the mysteries behind their formation. It is worth noting that these findings and theories come with challenges and criticisms. Some argue that they are highly speculative, untestable, and lack imperial evidence. Additionally, they may rely on unverified assumptions or introduce circular reasoning. As with any scientific inquiry, further research, data, and advancements are required to fully understand the nature of these unusual galaxies and their implications for our understanding of the universe. In conclusion, the James Webb Space Telescope's groundbreaking observations of ancient and massive galaxies challenge our current understanding of the universe's origins. These galaxies, which emerged at a remarkably early stage, pose intriguing questions about galaxy formation and the fundamental laws of physics. While alternative explanations involving supermassive black holes or the universe being nested within a black hole have been proposed, more data, rigorous testing, and advancements in cosmology and physics are necessary to unravel the true nature of these phenomena. The James Webb Space Telescope will continue to shed light on these mysteries, bringing us closer to understanding the complex and awe-inspiring nature of our universe. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please like, leave a comment, and subscribe. See you at the next adventure.